Meet Jack, a modern-day IT operations manager. He's responsible for ensuring all company systems run smoothly, including networks, applications, storage, and cloud systems. Lately, users from around the world are calling Jack to report application performance problems. The rapid growth in data and transactions from mobile and international customers is causing serious issues that are putting the company's reputation at risk and affecting its day-to-day -day operations. Jack, why are our systems so slow? We need to make sure we have enough capacity to meet our deadlines. It takes longer and longer to take orders and service our customers. And last quarter, we almost missed our targets. One of Jack's recent projects was an enterprise cloud initiative. By using commodity compute blades to reduce costs for all his applications, Jack's cloud project was supposed to make it easy to roll out new applications and bring greater efficiency to the data center. But that's not happening because it's difficult to bring in additional resources to meet the deadlines. Jack meets with Jess, head of infrastructure, to look at the cloud architecture and explore the problems. Jack has used traditional hardware application delivery controller appliances to provide load balancing to spread the traffic between a number of application servers. What's wrong with our systems? The applications keep failing when the load increases. The ADCs were supposed to have enough capacity to last us for four years, but nobody expected we'd have so many people accessing the systems with their tablets and smartphones. Our systems just weren't designed to manage that kind of data explosion. So do we need more servers to manage the extra workload? We have enough server capacity, but we're going to have to upgrade the ADCs even though it will only get used once or twice a year. Not only has the traffic workload increased, but we've also turned on some new Layer 7 ADC services, and the appliances are now becoming overwhelmed at peak times. Okay, so we need to make sure we have enough space in the data center for the new systems. Our ADC vendor looked at the growth rate and said we have less than 90 days before this problem gets out of hand. But it takes too long to order and install the new appliances. We need to do something now. Our current ADC vendor has a virtual edition. Would that make it more flexible? We've looked into that. It isn't a mature cloud solution, and it doesn't support clustering or the end-to-end -end orchestration we need. How can we justify spending on capacity that will only be used a couple of times a year? We need to be more flexible in the way we use the cloud platform. We need more flexible capacity planning in the cloud platform, not a static licensing model. Jack calls his friends at Riverbed Technology to ask for help. Jack's real problem is he needs a more flexible way to deliver Layer 7 services to help improve the end user experience while increasing the flexibility of his new cloud platform and keeping costs under control. Jack's traditional IT architecture has three layers, network at the top, ADC appliances in the middle, and racks of servers and storage at the bottom. Using the latest virtual networking and server technology, Jack virtualized his data center, including the network, applications, and servers, reducing his costs by increasing usage for maximum efficiency. But because Jack's ADC appliances are not able to leverage the new virtual environment, they're still linked with static connections to the virtual application servers. This makes it more difficult to add more resources, so the ADCs need to be maintained and upgraded whenever more capacity is added. Jack realized that his ADC services did not need to be left out of the new cloud program and used Riverbed Stingray to extend his ADC services into the virtual shared environment. Stingray Traffic Manager software makes it easy to add extra capacity and can auto-scale Jack's application to match the transaction load, releasing resources when they're no longer needed. Stingray runs on many virtual and cloud platforms and the 64-bit software architecture gives full cloud portability. Not only has Jack solved his application performance problems, Stingray has helped him complete his vision of a fully virtualized cloud platform, which is now agile enough to keep pace with the global growth of the company. Best of all, by using Stingray Services controller software to turn his ADC platform into a dynamic pool of resources, Jack now has the flexibility to provide the perfect match of application delivery services for each and every application. Jack can now achieve much greater application density within his cloud infrastructure, and he can deploy the exact ADC resources needed for all his applications. Now Jack can manage the whole ADC lifecycle, scaling instances up and down to suit changes in workload and charge back ADC usage to application owners to keep his costs under control. Jack, well done solving the performance problems. Sales are up already as more customers are able to place orders on the move. Can you improve our other applications too? 
Sure, Stingray helps us release the potential of our new cloud to help keep our applications optimized all the time. Let me know how much budget you need next year to move all our applications to our new cloud. Now that I have Stingray, I can give all our applications a complete ADC solution, whether they're in my data center or in my enterprise cloud. Stingray lets me deliver more reliable and scalable services, keeping my customers happy. I won't be needing these old ADCs anymore.